A whistleblower is expected to issue a stark warning to lawmakers today that the U.S. has become, quote, the middleman in a multi-billion dollar migrant child trafficking operation at the border. Joining me now is Republican Texas Congressman Pat Fallon for more on this. Congressman, the headline of this story is horrifying that the United States government would somehow play the middleman in this. Is, is that true? David, thank you for, for having me on. Absolutely. The, Joe Biden and his administration have, uh, have really not only enabled, but facilitated the largest sex trafficking and human smuggling operation in human history. And it's been going on now, David, for almost two and a half years. We've had seven million people cross the border illegally in the last two and a half years. We've lost contact. The HHS has lost contact with 85,000 unaccompanied minors. And what most Americans don't realize is the drug cartels charge up to $4,000 per person for people that cross the border. And if you don't have that money, they'll either make you be a mule, they'll harm you, or you can quote unquote work it off. And that's why sexual trafficking is alive and well in the United well, there, States. Well, there certainly is no question that the number of unaccompanied children crossing the border has dramatically increased. It was. 33,000 in 2020, which is a huge number. Uh, then in 2022, two years later, it went up to 152,000. And look at this, just so far this year, uh, is, and we've only gone through a, a third of the year, 70,000. That could lead to 210,000 or even higher uh, for, for the full year. So the numbers have dramatically increased. But again, I just want to be clear, it's not, it's not necessarily the government is 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 helping specifically consciously helping traffickers of, of children this awful awful crime it's just that that could be the consequence of their actions right david there's no doubt it's a consequence of the actions you just said in state of those figures it's about 700 percent worse right now than it was under uh, Donald Trump in his last year in office. And that's what happens when you have these soft uh, immigration policies that are allowing people to come in in droves. The drug cartels are some of the most evil people on oh, the planet, terrible. and they are controlling, they're, David, they're controlling our southern border, not the federal government. Well, there's, there's nothing more evil than, than people that abuse children. And that's, that's the part of this that is, that is just really, it is evil. And I'm, I'm wondering the extent to which, I mean, at one point there was a, uh, the, the operations included warehouses in which children are kept under armed guard. I, that's the sort of thing that I would think a community would notice. Is the FBI onto this? Or is the FBI doing enough to track down these warehouses and other big facilities that might stand out in a community? I do not think the federal government is doing nearly enough. We should be securing our southern border, number one. So we don't encourage folks to come across illegally because, you know, what people don't talk about, particularly the folks on the left, 30 percent of young women that transit Mexico to come to the United States are, are raped or sexually assaulted along the journey. It's very perilous. It's very dangerous. And the cartels care nothing about what they, they care nothing about human dignity. They care about one thing, and that's profit. And we need to call them out for the clear and present danger that they are because sexual uh, trafficking, but also slavery in this country is alive and well. Congressman, I just want to switch gears because I know you're very interested in hearings about what happened in Afghanistan, the Afghanistan withdrawal, which the, the White House, frankly, kind of whitewashed, whitewashed their own responsibility for some of the awful things that happened during that withdrawal as a result of the way it was carried out. Uh, what's the next step in figuring things out there? Well, we've had a hearing, and we need to have, we had a hearing in the Oversight Committee. We need to have another hearing, I, I believe, on the Armed Services Committee, of which I said on both, because what ended up happening, and Joe Biden promised, you remember, David, before the withdrawal, that this wouldn't be like another Vietnam, and it was almost exactly like another Vietnam. What he did was he listened to the wrong people, not his military experts on the ground, but the State Department, and take, we, we took 2,500 troop level, which the, the Pentagon said was the minimum we should do to hold Bagram and Kabul, and he went down to 650. And what happened was we left Bagram, 5,000 scumbag prisoners and criminals escaped, one of which was the suicide bomber that murdered 13 American service members. We also left $7 billion worth of equipment. Somebody needs to be held account because to date, David, nobody has. Mm. Well, we'll see if, if the details of that come out. I'm sure they will. The question is just how long it will take. Congressman Fallon, good to see you. Thank you for being here. Appreciate it.